Rick Dolan, 5163 Echo, we are safe on the ground at Serpentine. Let's see, Serpentine is this little oasis in like a, a field of green surrounded by kind of a fence of granite. And, uh, and the, the little oasis happens to be a, a wonderful warm bath and, and it's, uh, it's just beautiful. Spectacular place, right? What do you guys, do you guys like this area? Yeah, yeah. better than ever. What do you think of it? Better. Magical. Magical. You know, that is, I think that's a, like one of my favorite words to describe it. My name is Joey Slowick. Um, I'm here to uh, teach kids how great insects and spiders are. See how pretty their abdomen, can you see all those stripes on their abdomen? Isn't that pretty? Last year at this site there was a snow field and one of the kids found a snow scorpion fly, which um, is a pretty rare insect order for Alaska. So we wanted to come out here again, see if we could collect some more. Um, we finally got here and um, there's no snow. My name is Avril and I live in Nome, Alaska. Hiking up this mountain, it was a challenge for me because of I have asthma and I made it. The rocks are really huge, tall. Some are very jagged, some are just round at a good angle it can look like something else there's this one rock that looked like a a woman staring at the sun eating something on a chair uh, my name is Daryl Ingluck and I'm from Shishma the last time I went was like how many years ago which would be in the winter time, we would go either hunting for a caribou by snow machine or stay at the cabin. One of my favorite parts was when curiosity and creativity took over and the quote unquote need to be cool kind of drops away. So after it's dry, you can go through and you can put terrain. Mm -hmm. See that? That's like a horizon oh, line right there. Okay. Right? Yeah. Or you could do grass. What? You want to do that one? Yeah. My name is Heather McFarland. I am working as the ornithologist. So I'm teaching the kids about what kinds of birds are here at Bering Land Bridge. Said the blue throat not only sings his own song, but the blue throat sings all the songs of the birds around it. All the songs. Oh, oh, go to Crown Sarah. Our plant and lichen expert was Dave Swanson, who works with the National Park Service Arctic Inventory and Monitoring Network, and is very, very familiar with Bering Land Bridge. There's a, yeah. My name is Katie Cullen, and I'm the Chief of Interpretation at Bering Lembridge National Preserve. We have taken the BioBlitz concept and kind of modified it. We have um, an opportunity for students to work alongside scientists, uh, but not only to kind of partake in the inventory aspect of it, but also to learn about um, what the scientists are doing and what drives them and um, how they got to be the scientists that they are today. Experiences like BioBlitz can be pivotal experiences for kids. You never know where these, you know, four days might, might lead a kid um, in their own personal and professional lives as they grow into adults.